Greetings, I'm K. Let's build an Unchained deck in this video. Now, there are three types of Unchained Soul Monsters available, and they are very easy to use. Due to the fact that this archetype only allows you to summon Fiend Monsters. You do not have many options when building your X deck. In fact, this is your only XYZ option. And this is your Link option. Thus, no matter what kind of deck you build, your X deck will typically resemble this at the very least. About normal summon rights. Only these two monsters are typically worth normal summoning. Generally, in the first turn, we don't have other monster on our board. Therefore, Rakia can only start with a spell trap card. And this is the only Rakia combo for starting. On the other hand, since we don't have any spell trap cards in our graveyard, we can't start a combo with Sarama. About Arha. There are two combo routes depending on which type of card he has destroyed. This is the route that is triggered when Arha destroys a monster card. And this is the other route that is triggered when Arha destroys a spell trap card. Sharvara can also do combos. When Sharvara destroys a monster card this combo route is triggered. And this is the route that triggers when it destroys a spell trap card. The Unchained combo is not very difficult. Regardless of your starting hand try summoning Sharvara. Then summon Yama. Summon Shyama then do Link Summon. And finally use Shyama's self revival effect that's it. This is an advanced combo that utilizes Tour Guide. But if your tour guide is disrupted, you may get stuck in the middle of this combo. Thus, we need a backup plan. This plan can also address the situation where we draw Sangan or Rhino. 
Please note that we cannot use Shyama to start a combo. So we need a plan to send it from our hand to the graveyard. About deck structure. Since trap cards can function both as shell cards and as core cards. We can use either a 32 or a 41 deck structure. This is a meta core. Mega Tama doesn't appear in our combos because it's a card used to break the opponent's board when we play second. To prevent Chiyama from being banished, we need to include two copies. Even if we draw three copies of our ha, we can still perform the combo as long as we have spell trap cards in hand. The number of trap cards depends on the type of deck we are building. If we have Arian, we can include more trap cards. This is a core that includes Arian. And this is our combo route. As you can see, having a trap card in our opening hand can lead to a stronger board. This is why we have 5 trap cards in this core. When we include 5 trap cards, we have a 50% chance of drawing 1 or more trap cards in our opening hand. Actually, it's 69% at the moment. Next, let's build our shell. The shell is an auxiliary part that is independent of the core. We need the shell to make our core function more smoothly. As you know, Shyama is a brick, so we need a way to send it from our hand to the graveyard. Forbidden Drop is a card which can send it to the graveyard, but it's only functioning when we go second. Thus, we need a card which can use it when we go first. We can try Mastery, it can let us search Abominable and Lava. Since this archetype does not heavily rely on normal summoning, we can use lava. Due to this deck relying heavily on special summons, we need these cards to prevent the opponent from using Max C. In addition, using Tasking can improve our success rate for executing combos, so it is also a viable option to consider. As you can see, although this deck has the ability to clear the opponent's back row, it's not a direct method. Therefore, we need a more direct solution and Feather Duster is a viable option. Thus, our shell could be like this. As we didn't include Tour Guide, the chance of summoning Griffin is not high. So our X deck could look like this. And this is our deck. Here is a sample. Another sample when going second.
Conclusion. This cat can speak English. That's it, see ya.